Hey, this is Cakes and Shakes, and I am here with my neon crow getting ready to offer for a giraffe. So I'm just going to say hi to this girl. Hi. Oops. I didn't say hi. I just said H. Here we go. I'm going to uh, I'm going to trade her here. All right, so my offer for a giraffe is a neon fly ride crow. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of this. I think it's a win. A neon crow is definitely under for a giraffe. So let's see if they, ah, they double accepted. Here we go. I'm going to get a giraffe for a neon fly ride crow. Here we go. All right, I got it, I got it. Here we go, folks. So uh, let me just say you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I love this, folks. So let's take a look at the trading license. I'm gonna go over here because uh, just to create a little space. But uh, we're gonna, so I got this giraffe and I am, let me take a look at my trading license. So the reason I want to do that is because I want to just kind of walk through how I think about the values here because that happened pretty fast. So a, a giraffe is worth about 1.425 in frost values. So, and if you're not familiar with frost values, it's just effectively denominating every pet in terms of how many frosts is that pet worth. So if a frost is worth one, then uh, a pet that's worth 0.5, like an evil unicorn or a crow, is worth half of a frost. So it would take two crows to equal a frost. And this, a giraffe is worth about a little less than one and a half frost. So 1.425. And neon crow, on the other hand, is worth about 1.35. So in my view, I got about 0 0.075. So almost a neon legendary win or profit in this trade. I would do this trade 100% of the time, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's a win, a fair, or a lose? Let me know. And if you haven't, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and Turn on your notifications and I will see all of you really soon. Bye.